Pie. Are you still here on this planet too? Yup. The Galactic Council said that if I disappeared now, people would say I raptured away. I spoke to my parents this morning and I feel kind of bad. They told their friends that the world is gonna end and it didn't happen. All I know is that nobody knows the day or the hour and that's that. Well, did you make that bet with your dad for a new car if you woke up on May 22nd? Nope. Just made a bet for a pizza party. Extra cheese. So blessed you were still here. You could have been my internet angel, placed in the heart of the storms. Heart and storms. Been in a bit of a heart storm myself. Tell me all is well with the boys. I know how boys can tear a mother's heart. Boys are boys. It's just. I wanted to ask if you ever felt like lonely at times. I have been shy and quiet and keep to myself mostly. When I am in a relationship with someone I give it 100%. Totally monogamous myself, given the opportunity to love a woman, she is cherished and honored to make up for the abuse you women have to take from the male of the species. But you were saying, After a seven-year relationship passed. Now I have to go back into the social scene, but I feel sort of lost. It's all so scary for me. Been in that haunted house, myself. All I want is to love and be loved, but forgot what being in love means. I, I feel out of place. Not in love and not sure of what's going to happen. Take my word for it. No one knows what is going to happen. Social scene, huh? Wish I could bring a few more friends into this conversation. Perhaps an extra normal 2.0. Glad that we are able to work on loving ourselves and each other. Still, I too await spending a little bit of the eternal with you. Your strong and powerful words mean so much for me. You were mentioning waves of us leaving the earth? What's up with that? Wait, wait, wait a minute. What's the hip term now for back the truck up? What? What? I like that. It is shorter than back the truck up. Let's back the truck up to your feelings of loneliness. I am going through a change right now and I have a new mission. I want to know what love is. Love not as I once knew it, but what it really is. I think I have never really know what love is because there was so much going on inside of me. That inside of me feeling is a side effect of love. So, I think this is a great place to start. I want to know what your version of love is and when do you know it's not just a feeling, but more than that. Why do I feel alone even when I am with people? Why does love hide itself? Where does it come from? Who gets it and who doesn't? Why is this feeling so overwhelmingly strong and powerful but not so much at times? Why am I feeling like this? What was that you asked about leaving the earth in waves? Who is my love and when do I get to meet him? When does love end and begin? How come love can come and go and not stay here forever? Take a breath angel, I can answer that one, right off the top of my head. Or is that the bottom of my heart? It doesn't seem to last forever because we are not bound to this physical world forever. Some loves we have had here, are forever, but you cannot see forever, from here. You've had love relationships which are forever. Eternal in nature. What's love got to do with who I am and where I want to be? Know what I mean. What's love got to do with it? Love is the thing you are searching for. Being in a search for love is who you are. Many people don't even believe in love. Love is of no part of their lives. You, therefore are assured, love eternal. A quest for love is a divine thing. Once the eternal is revealed, you will have the opportunity to carry the love you've had, here in the physical as a beacon of who you are, counter to, those who have seen love as a tool of control, never really feeling that love was of any benefit to them. Guess I see what you were saying, wanting love and searching for love, is who I am. And that is certainly of the positive polarity. Right? Positively said. That's what attracted me to you. They say opposites attract. Another lie. Like gravity. Love attracts love. Hate breeds hate. And misery loves company. So you were saying, we love being miserable together. Ha ha ha. I personally, love your need to open up to me. Causing me to think thoughts which help settle your awareness of what is important. While living in this slightly over the cliff world. Like I always say. We've already gone over the waterfall. So, enjoy the ride. But keep your arms and hands in the boat. Our big brother will throw you out, you've had love. You're a mother and evidently someone's lover for seven years. 
You have family and you are loved. This love is eternal. There will be no hole in your heart or that empty feeling in the pit of your stomach once you have left this world. That is one of the reasons you agreed to be a part of this world. Someone told you that if you came to this little nursery in this great big galaxy you could collect a cosmos full of love to share throughout the eternal. So you said, sign me up. Is there a big hug and a kiss option in this program? Nope. Guess not. Relax. Stop searching. It really is not a good time to get involved. Because time is such that, to start a new love can most certainly only lead to feeling pain and sorrow for the trials and tribulations those new loves will have to endure in the near future. Don't love and don't get hurt. I know you are just testing or teasing me with that one. Ha 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 just love it when you think. Think about you? Now you're catching on. Did I ever tell you that I am a shy, shy guy who never feels comfortable around people? I can be in a room full of people and be all alone on the moon. Oh, so that was you hiding in that crater last Friday night? Ha 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 hope you see what I'm saying here. The love you've given others and the love returned to you is the reason you are here. Under any circumstances of the eternal, only the blessings of shared love amount to a hill of beans. Since all fears are denied from being eternal, you have nothing to fear. Consider how blessed you are to have the opportunity to be comfortable enough to search for love. Many don't have the time, comfort or means to be able to even know love exists. So take the time and gather and share all the love you can. Don't waste any effort questioning if it is the right love, or the love. Love is a power and if you question it, it loses some of its luster. See you in the eternal. I'll be there.